gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on another hunt on the Penny Hunter. We do daily Penny Hunt videos. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. We are doing an amazing job. I just, I thank you all for the support. It really means so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now by clicking the little subscribe button below the video. Click the bell icon to stay notified of all of our new videos every day. Happy President's Day. I thank you all for everything that you've done for the channel once again. We have a penny hunt here from Navy Fed. Navy Fed is a bank that started my penny hunt inspirations. Then they had a little bit of a problem getting pennies, so they stopped giving them to me. I started going again a couple weeks ago, and they had some. So sometimes when it comes to Navy Fed boxes, we have boxes like this. I'm not sure if they're customer wrapped. Now they appear to be. I place orders with them, and they get deliveries for me. And sometimes I show up and I get bank wrap boxes, and sometimes I show up and I get these boxes. So we have no way of knowing what's inside these. Um, I just, I don't know. So the last time we did a hunt from Navy Fed, we had 43 wheat cents in two boxes, with one of them having 31. Um, Navy Fed does average a wheat cent more than every three, or sorry, less than every three rolls at 34.7% of the rolls. Let's get kicking and see what we can find. Unfortunately, like I said, no enders here, but if I get anything, I'll bring you in. As a reminder, we do use the new point system, which I will include after this video. Roll number one, we don't have any wheat cents, but we have two Canadians. We have a 1995 and a 1994. Good way to start the hunt, two points. Well, this is pretty crazy. Open this customer wrap roll. We have one, two, three, four, five, six Canadians and a wheat scent. So let's get to the wheat scent first. As soon as I can hold it for the camera, that would be nice. It's a 1956 out of Philly. It's our first wheat scent, and that's one more point. We have three, but we're about to have a lot more. 1979, that's four points. 85, five points. 83, six points. 89, seven points. Oh, I think I found one more up here. 82. 78. 79. We still have two more. 89. 89. And an 82. Unbelievable roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Canadians and a weedy in that roll. Oh, there's one more right here. Ten Canadians in one roll. We're up to 12 Canadians. 94 right here. Unbelievable. Roll number four had another Canadian. We had 11 Canadians in this roll. It's a 79. Roll number seven gives us our 14th Canadian. Holy cow. What have we have here? Now granted, we did just have 11 in one roll, but still, we are up to 14 already. Roll number eight. We have another Canadian and a wheat scent. It's a 1986 and our second wheat scent of the hunt. Oops. It's a 1956 out of Philly. Great find. I'll set it aside. Buried under a stack of coins was wheat scent number three in roll number eight. We have a 1955 Philadelphia wheat scent number three. Well, number eight also had Canadian number 16 in it. We're averaging two Canadians a roll already. Could we have a hundred? Rule number nine had our fourth wheat scent. It's a 1944 out of Philly. Oldest coin so far. That's worth two points. Rule number 10 gives us our first 2009. It's a presidential years back. It is one of the rarest coins printed since the 1950s in terms of a single release of a coin, 
I love to see it. One more point added to our score. Rule number 11 gives us sweet scent number 5. It's in really beat up condition. I hope I can get a date off of it. We have a 1953 out of Philly. Terrible condition, but it's worth one point. Rule number 12 has another Canadian. That's number 17. Rule number 13 gives us another 2009. This one's in pretty decent condition. One more point. Same roll, another 2009, also in decent condition. That's our third one, and our third different back. Roll number 27 gives us another 2009. It's our fourth one of the hunt. So I wanted to bring you in to show you what most of this box has looked like. Dirty, rotten, zinc scents. Now we do have a lot of Canadians, and we have found a couple wheat scents, and then I saw it. Wanted to complain about the roll, then we found a 1956 Denver that looks like it went through the ringers and a fire. So that is another wheat scent. We're up to six, but we're not getting a lot of coins, and a lot of them are filthy, dirty. Look at this. Absolutely disgusting. My fingers are just getting ripped up. Coin roll hunting can be dirty sometimes. Well, there it is. In roll number 21, we hit all four different 2009 backs. There's a ton of 2009s in here. This is number six already and only roll number 23. I'm going to check this also for the double die. Once again, if it is, I'll bring you in. If not, I'll show you the next hit. Same roll. We have another one. Unbelievable. Tons of 2009s in this box. Roll number 24. Only fitting that on President's Day, we're pulling a bunch of these commemorative Abraham Lincoln pennies. A little bit of a drought here. Roll number 25 gives us our 18th Canadian after we had 16 in the first 10 rolls. I wanted to bring you in for this in roll number 25. I don't find a whole lot of these. 1969S. It is our first S mint find of the box. Now, the 69S has a very famous DDO and DDR find. Um, it's probably the second most famous double die in pennies. This is not showing any signs of the DDR, I mean of the DDO, but we can also search for the DDR over here. And I'm not seeing any signs of it either, but it is always cool to find them. I don't find a ton of 69 S's. I did find eight 1968 S's in almost uncirculated condition, if you want to click up here and see that video from a few days ago. Rule number 26, buried under some other pennies. Wheat scent, number seven. We're halfway through the box. It's a pretty shiny 1950S. It's not red, but it's it's got a little bit of luster to it. That's a nice coin. I'll take it. Three points. Another 2009. That gives us nine 2009s halfway through the box. Our highest of all time is 14. Well, there it is. Rule number 30 gives us another 2009, and it is our third presidential year-backed coin in the box. Roll number 34 gives us wheat scent number 8. It's a 1944 Philly. Two points added to our score. Roll number 35 gives us wheat scent number 9. It's a 1941 out of Philadelphia. Really beat up. Two more points added to the score. Roll number 36 brings us our 19th Canadian of the box. We have only found three Canadians since roll number 10. It's a 1987. Right behind the Canadian, we have a 1971 S mint mark. One more point added to the score. Roll number 37 brings us Canadian number 20. It's a landmark number. It's a 1996. 2009 number 11. It's in Bad shape. One more point added to our score. Roll number 40 brings us our 10th wheat scent of the hunt. It's a 1957 out of Denver. I didn't see it because they were back to back and phase up, but also in roll number 40, another wheat scent. It's a 1958 out of Denver. And it's a pretty solid coin. I'll take it. Us yet another 2009 penny. That's number 12 of the box. Same roll, roll number 47, yet another one, number 13. Our record is 14. We have three rolls left. Can we find number 14? 
Rule number 48 gives us a parting gift. It's another wheat scent. It's number 12. And it's a 1949 out of Denver. That's worth two points. Well, here it is. Navy fed. I don't know. It wasn't a terrible hunt. It wasn't a great hunt either. We did have 11 wheat scents. We finished with 20 Canadians, but we had 16 Canadians after the first 10 rolls. So that was a little disappointing. But on President's Day, we did finish with 13 2009 coins. I think that's pretty cool. These coins celebrated the life of Lincoln. Today, we celebrate President's Day, which was an inspiration because of Lincoln's birthday, which was celebrated on February 12th, and George Washington's birthday. So I think that's pretty cool that on President's Day, we had a bunch of these coins. We also had four 1959s and two other S mint marks. But don't forget, we also had that weedy S mint mark. Overall, again, not that great of a box. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Tomorrow, we will be back with another Penny Hunt video. Please subscribe now if you haven't done so already and support the channel. Have a great day and happy hunting.